Today, as of 14 hours ago, Ray Fisher has tweeted a clip from his final conversation with Warner Media's independent investigator, which happened on December 11th, 2020, which had been at least a month and five days ago. One month and five days ago, he talked with the independent investigator from Warner Me. And uh, this 50 seconds clip has the legitimacy of proof as to why. Claims against Walter Hermana, dangerous behavior, is practically true. So I'm going to play this clip here, and then I'll give my full initial thoughts on this. I know that this is a very time-consuming process, and uh, I know this has not been an easy one by any means. Um, and if ever there were any points in time where I seemed defensive or, or, uh, you know, please. Ray, you've been a gentleman. You've been a gentleman, and I'll say you've been a man of your word. And that is what we have reported to the company, which is that you told us you would give us names, you gave us names. You told us you would meet with us on a particular day at a particular time. You never tried to reschedule it. You met us. You even gave us information after that. You've been a man of your word. You uh, are someone that we have found extremely credible. And the fact that you risked so much is part of what lends itself to your credibility. Um, and, but just also, uh, you know, the facts speak for themselves. Now, to what Ray Fisher has provided is absolutely astounding because it's more credible than uh, than what Warner Media has been claiming in their last statement, which I still find Warner Media to be very irresponsible of their total actions that they would rather quote unquote move on say it's time to move on for the quote rather than you know actually do some sensitivity training and take this serious and when they say quote unquote it's time to move on they really mean it's time to forget because they want to forget this they want to to pretend that nothing bad has ever happened and it's so irresponsible on their part It's so irresponsible on their part for them to, like, not be directly honest with the, with the people that work for the company and the people who watch all of their stuff such as this movie or these particular channels and it's one of those reasons why Warner Media is having these extremely big issues that they don't 
want to like fully address. If they were completely honest, then I would have uh, accepted that. But Warner Media, at the end of the day, isn't completely honest, and thanks to Ray Fisher, you know, Warner Media cannot hide any longer. They must be held accountable for their actions. That includes the DC Films President Walter Hamada, who works from Warner Media. He essentially needs to be held accountable. As much as Jeff Johns, who needs to be held accountable. If both of them are not held accountable, then they will get away with this. And they will not get away with it any longer. Both of them must be held accountable. And the entire company company needs to be held accountable right now. If Warner Media doesn't change their ways, the way they run their business currently, in the next six to twelve months, then I would suggest that that some employees will finally have the chance to quit their jobs and run Warner Media out of business, or at least force them to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, because the way they run it right now is completely irresponsible. So again, Warner Media needs to be held accountable for their actions.